يا من هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الرحمن الرحيم الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر الخالق الباري المصور الغفار القهار الوهاب الرزاق الفتاح العليم القابز الباسط الخالق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم peace and blessings of God Allah be with the nation Guyana and the world. Namaste. I bow to the divine presence in you. Om Shanti. I am a peaceful soul. You are a peaceful soul. And peace and blessings in the name of the universal God to all humanity. Whatever deity, whatever name you may see him as. I have chosen this morning or evening or night or afternoon as the case may be to do a very special program uh, which I feel in my heart is required in Guyana and the world over in the Islamic world a non-Islamic world for all humanity it is a very unique chapter from the holy and the glorious Quran. God's gift to humanity, along with all the other books that were revealed, they all God's gift to humanity. A very special chapter in here that moves my heart. And it is the conversation of a father and a son. Today, I was inspired to use myself as the father and as the son. So in a way, I will be speaking to the son and to the child within myself. As we all as human beings must address ourselves as not only adults and mature elders, but also as children listening to our conscience and our souls that comes from the wisdom of the Creator and Lord of the Worlds. I think this is a very beautiful message and pertinent and also which could refer to all religions and all ethnicities and all societies and all times from time immemorial to modern civilization into the future time and ages most per pertinent. So this is my message to you today, friends and families, get your children, get your loved ones, send a message to your family and friends, and if you're late, look again on the watch party, check on Facebook, check on YouTube, Electric Mosque, Guyan, YouTube or Facebook. And then periodically, for a while, we will repeat it, maybe once daily, for a week, and then into the future, once a week, for a month, then maybe every two weeks, for another two months, and then maybe once a month, for the rest of the year. Because I see it as extremely pertinent for all peoples and all religions. As you know, yours truly, I do not know what is racism, ethnicity, or religious division, strife, color, or caste. I believe in one human family under God has been taught by my modern seer, teacher, and master, Son Myung Moon and his wife, Hak Jahar Moon, of the Universal Peace Federation International. I wish, before I go to the addressing my soul and myself and the son within me, dear friends and families, to advise you all to please remember to sanitize. It's a terrible time in the world and in the country. With this pandemic, remember at least 20 seconds 
when you have and your thumbs all around and also all exposed parts that you might have on your arms and your hands. Remember to wear your masks to protect yourself and others. We must be a disciplined and a courteous people. Let us always remember to work with the guy in the police force for law and order and support the commissioner of police and his officers. Let us remember to work with whoever is the government of the day and let us try our very best to avoid difficulties, hardships, torment of Guyanese. Whoever wins the election, wins the election. It's not fair if you have lost an election that you won the power. And to create mayhem and destruction in a land where you will go down and in the world in degradation and shame. Let us work for a one true beautiful Guyana where we can galvanize our people and we can create the system for a unified government where we can want to trust each other and to build national cohesion, love, goodwill and harmony. And now we go to Lukman the Wise. Ozabillahim and Shaitani Rajim, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. I seek refuge from the evils of Satan and I begin in the name of God Almighty, the most gracious and most merciful. Dearest, beloved, divine friends and family, brothers and sisters in Guyana in the concourse of humanity, may the peace and mercies and the blessings of God Almighty be with one and all. Today, we are doing a very special presentation of Lukman the Wise. Undone before, anywhere in the world, and by the grace of God, Allah, with modern technology and modern civilization, to use all that we can to impress upon the minds of man of this beautiful chapter, chapter 31 of the Holy Glorious Quran, Luqman, the Wise. Conversation between a father and a son. Bismillahi rahmani rahim alhamdulillahi nahmadahu wa nastainahu wa nastakfirahu wa nominu bihi min shiroori anfusina wa min sayati amalina من يده الله فلا مدل له ومن يدله فلا هادي له وانا شهد ولا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله praise be to allah we seek his help and his forgiveness we seek refuge with allah from the evil of our own souls and from our bad deeds whomsoever allah guides will never be led astray and whoever Allah leaves astray, no one can guide. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, the one having no partner. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and the slave of God Almighty and the example of Muslims and humanity. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Ya ayyuladheena amanatak kullahu haqqa tukattihi wa ala Tamutuna illa wantum muslimun. O believers, be mindful of Allah in the way He deserves and do not die except in a state of submission to Him. A kaulu kauli hada was ali walakum. I say these words of mine and I ask for forgiveness, dearest beloved. Divine friends and family, brothers and sisters, may the peace and the mercies and the blessings of Allah be with one and all. In the arrival of the Holy Quran through His merciful Lord of the worlds. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. As I address myself, the son in me, the servant of God, myself, as Lukman the wise, and the soul in me, as my divine son. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Teach me, my father. Teach me. 
In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, I, Allah, am the best knower. These are verses of the Book of Wisdom, a guidance and the mercy for the doers of good who keep up prayer and pay the poor rate zakah and who are certain of the hereafter these are on the guidance from their Lord and these are they who are successful and of men is he who takes instead frivolous discourse to lead astray from Allah's path without knowledge and to make it a mockery for such is an abasing chastisement and when our messages are recited to him he turns back proudly as if he had not heard them as if there were deafness in his ears so announce to him an abasing a painful chastisement those who believe and do good for them are gardens of bliss To abide therein a promise of Allah and he is the mighty, the wise. He created the heavens with the pillars that you see and cast mountains on the earth so the earth lest it be convulsed with you and he spread on it animals of every kind and we send down water fertilizing rains from the clouds that cause to grow therein of every noble kind. This is Allah's creation. Now show me that which those besides him have created. Nay, the unjust are in manifest error. And certainly we gave Lokman wisdom, saying, Give thanks to Allah. And whoever is thankful is thankful for his own soul. And whoever denies, then surely Allah is self sufficient praise. And when Lukman said to his son, while he admonished him, O oh my son, ascribe no partners to Allah. Surely, ascribing partners to Allah is a grievous inequity. My son, Subhanahu wa ta'ala here is telling us that we must have faith only in him and worship him that everything on the earth that you see or you witness or you own or you see others own and that you see in the heavens flying creatures the clouds and the lightning and the thunder and the water that comes forth that fertilizes the earth 
that brings forth produce. As you know, and you can see the seeds so fertilizing and growing and germinating and producing food for human and animal kind. It is all the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have enjoined a man concerning his parents, his mother. Bears him with faintings upon faintings. His mother bears him with travail upon travail. And his weaning takes two years. Saying, give thanks to me, Allah, and to thy parents. To me. Allah is the eventual coming, my son. Life is short. You might be young. And you might be strong. And you might think that you will live forever. But time catches up. With the creation of God. Time catches up with nature and with all of us. So do not waste time. Cherish time and cherish what you could do on the earth and your parents and honor the creation and respect them and worship and bless your God for the days of your life. Give thanks to me and to thy parents. To me, Allah, is the eventual coming. And if they strive with thee to make thee associate with me, Almighty God, that of which thou hast no knowledge, obey them not. And keep kindly company with them in this world. And follow the way of him who turns to me. Then to me is your return. Then I, Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, it shall inform you of all that you did. My son, the creator and lord of the world is teaching us on our parents, our mothers and our fathers. They are like gods on the earth. Go to mother first, we are told by our beloved prophet Muhammad. Then go to God. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. But, Subhanahu wa ta'ala in this holy and the glorious Quran <laughs> admonishing us. And if they strive with thee to make thee associate with me that of which thou hast no knowledge. In other words, they're trying to get you to worship something else than the universal God, the universal creator of all that you have seen. In creation, in the mountains, and in the earth, and in the waterfalls, and in the birds, the flying creatures, and the quadrupeds, and the bipeds, beloved divine son. The Quran is telling you that you shall not follow them in that area if they take you away from the path of the one true God, the Lord of the worlds. But it doesn't say you must boycott them for the rest of your life. It says, my son, keep kindly company with them in this world. Still be kind and gentle and loving and generous to them, but do not follow the way that they are taking you away if it is out of the natural instincts of man to worship the one universal God and cre creator of the worlds. And follow the way of him who turns to me. So find you a mentor. Find you a scholar, a teacher, some kind of a simple man who lives a righteous life and make him your spiritual guide and master so that you can find your way to God. Then Allah gives us the warning, my son. 
then to me is your return. To me is your return. And I, Subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you, I shall inform you of what you did. I, Allah, shall inform you of what you did. O oh my son, even if it be the weight of a grain of mustard seed, even though it be in a rock, or in the heaven, or in the earth, Allah will bring it forth. Surely, Allah is knower of subtilities, aware. Oh my son, keep up prayer and enjoy good and forbid evil and bear patiently that which befalls thee. Surely this is an affair of great resolution, my son. Subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling me uh, as your father and you as the son from me that forbid evil, keep good company, enjoy what is right, forbid what is wrong. And be patient in trials and tribulations. Because, my son, the world is not perfect, nor is your father, nor are you, or anyone in the universe. So you must be patient in moments of trials and tribulations, and don't lose your faith, my son. And turn up thy face away from people in contempt. Nor go about in the land exultingly. Surely Allah loves not any self-conceited boaster. Allah, the Creator, is teaching you, my son. Me, as the medium. You, as a medium to the world. That we must not have contempt for others. We must not be rude or pompous. We must not be full of pride and walk in the world puffed up and be, feel that we have exalted ourselves above humanity. And for Allah loves not any self-conceited boaster. Whatever your success, my son, whatever your achievement, my son, raise to the glory of mankind and in spirit and mercy through humility love and charity, share and share alike with your mercies and your blessings, my beloved Divine Son. And pursue the right course in thy going about and lower thy voice. Surely the most hateful of voices is the braying of asses. So God is telling you not to be querulous, not to be fighting, not to be cursing, not to be beating and tumbling and, and jumping and be violent and boisterous, but to lower the voice, to speak with wisdom. Quran has told us also, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you argue with them in a beautiful voice. So discuss even things that you agree or disagree with. Not by showing contempt and power and strength and pompousness and rudeness, but by lowering thy voice and speak with intelligence and wisdom, my dear, beloved son. Remember the harshest and ugliest of voices is the brain 
of the donkey, greatness of divine power, my son. See you not that Allah has made subservient to you whatever is in the heavens or whatever is in the earth and granted to you his favors complete outwardly and inwardly and among men is he who disputes concerning Allah without knowledge or guidance or a book giving light my dear son subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us whatever is flying in the heavens the, in ancient times the dinosaurs that flies in modern times the eagles and the condors and the mountain birds and those that fly closer to the earth and the animals that live in the mountain and the animals that live in the earth. Or wherever they are in the earth or above the earth. That Allah has granted you his favors. Complete within and outward out there. And remember my son. You will meet people who are without knowledge and without guidance and without a book like this Al-Quran giving light and guidance so when they quarrel or they attack your religion or your holy book do not be misled by them have your faith in your God and have patience for you have been taught my son humility and peace and when it is said to them, follow that which Allah has revealed, they say, Nay! We follow that wherein we found our fathers. What? My son, what? Though the devil calls them to the chastisement of the burning fire, they will refuse to worship the God of the common sense. The God of nature, the God of natural wisdom and intellect with which we are born. The natural creator within man. And that they are worshipping wrong, they are worshipping ancestors. A creation of God, but they prefer to stay worshipping what they want. My dear, beloved, divine son. Yes, if... if the burning fire of chastisement awaits them one day. And whoever submits himself to Allah and does good to others, he indeed takes hold of the firmest handle. And Allah is the end of affairs. Submit my, my son to the creator and lord of the worlds and my divine brothers and sisters around the world. Submit to the Creator and Lord God of the worlds so that you can hold on to the firmest handle. And I repeat that to you, my beloved son, and whoever submits himself to Allah, God Almighty, and does good to others. In Islam, it is called, it is called Kidmat ul Insan. Our Hindu brothers and sisters, my beloved divine son, calls it a karamu. Our Christian brothers and sisters refer to it as service to mankind. All basically the same principle. And does good to others. He indeed takes hold of the firmest handle. And Allah, only Allah, Lord of the worlds, the God Almighty, is the end of all affairs. And whoever disbelieves, let not his disbelief upset you or grieve you, my son. I tell you a little story. When Rasulullah was instructed to take the message to Taif in Mecca, the enemies of Islam put children to pelt him down along with his adopted son. And he almost died and he bled 
and he cried out to the Lord, he was tempted to give up the cause. And Subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, I did not ask you to change the hearts of mankind. Just take the message. And he was reinvigorated. So my, my son, let not their disbelief grieve you. To us is their return. And we shall inform them of what they did. Surely Allah is the war of what is in the breasts. Nothing can be hidden. And those who did that to the Prophet, and to you as you do your righteous deed, and try to draw you away from goodness into evil, you must know that Allah is the knower of what is in the breasts. Subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to tell us, we give them to enjoy a little. And we shall drive them to a severe chastisement. So sometimes you see the disbelievers, those in smuggling and crime and deceit and evil and political man manipulations and trickery to steal the assets of the people and the nation and the country to fatten themselves and their families and to bring degradation into a nation and a land and a country, my son, and to the world, and to the sky, and the earth, and the seas. Corruption has entered, the Quran tells us. The corruption has entered into land and into the sea, my divine son. But you must keep your sanity, and you must keep your peace and your heart. And if you ask, ask them, who created the heavens and the earth? They shall say Allah. They will say God. Say praise be to Allah. But no, most of them know not. But they will say God created. Who created it? They will say God. Subhanahu wa ta'ala in this great chapter is telling us this. To Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth. Surely Allah is self-sufficient, praised. And if all the trees in the earth were pens, and the seas, with seven more seas added to it, wink, the words of Allah would not be exhausted. Surely Allah is mighty. Wise. My son, even with all the forests as you see and you know, and the jungles, if all became pens, and all the seas with more seas added to it, subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, he is so great and so outstanding that words and the ink and the pens cannot be sufficient to exalt the Creator and the Lord of the worlds, my divine beloved Son. Your creation or your raising is only like a single soul. Surely Allah is hearing and seeing It's not such a big thing for Allah to create another like you, or like me, or another earth, or another universe. It is like just like single soul. It's like it's like nothing. Kun fire kun, kun fire kun be, and it is is the power by which the Creator creates. My son, kun fire kun. Surely he is hearing and he is seeing. And my son, I want you to pay attention to these words and understand the science, friends and family, brothers and sisters around the world, to understand the science that goes with this. Seest thou not that Allah makes the night to enter into the day? And he makes the day to enter into the night and he has made the sun and the moon subservient to you 
Each pursues its course till an appointed time. And that Allah is the way of all that you do. This is because Allah is the truth. And that which they call besides Him is falsehood. And that Allah is the high, the great, my son. God Almighty causes the day to enter into the night and the night to enter into the day. It doesn't just happen automatically by fiat, a sudden switch and a sudden change. It happens gradually. There's a lot of science in this, my son, astronomically. And as the day is moving into the night, and as the night is moving into the day, the day creatures, as it moves into the night, are more returning to their layers from which they came, from whence they came, so that they may rest and worship their Lord and their God, whether they're crawling or they're quadrupeds or bipeds or they're in the water or in the sea. But you can see the thousands of egrets or, or cranes, as we call them, in all colors flying into their trees so that they may sleep my son and so they may rest and so they may worship their Lord and as the day breaks and the night has passed and the night creatures came out and did their thing and the day is breaking and the cock crows the night creatures return to the lairs as the day creatures take over and move to get their food and to play their part in nature my beloved divine son, the science is exquisite. The literature and the writing is extraordinary, revealed by the Creator, Lord of the worlds, O oh my dear son. Because why? I just give it to you, son. This is because Allah is the truth. And that which they call upon besides Him is a falsehood. And that Allah is the high and the great. Do you understand what I'm telling you, son? Get these words into your heart and take them so others may hear. The doom comes. Seest thou not that the ships glide on the sea by Allah's grace? That he may show you of his signs. Surely there are signs in this for every patient, endure, grateful one. Surely there are signs in this for every patient, endure, grateful one. And when a wave like awnings covers them, the wave is raising on them. They are going to have a storm. And they call upon Allah, O oh Allah, save us. Being sincere to Him in obedience. But when He brings them to safe, to land, some of them follow the middle course. And none denies our signs, but every perfidious, ungrateful one. And if a storm is coming and they are about to die, they kneel to the earth, they open the Quran or their other holy books, and they cry out to the Creator to save them. And when the Creator saves them, and pull the storm away, they deny the Creator and try to be diplomatic by following the middle course. And sometimes, no course at all. That's one who Allah is telling us, and none denies our sign, my son, except every perfidious, ungrateful one. O oh, people, keep your duty to your Lord, and dread the day when no father can avail his son in aught. O oh, my son, listen well. 
O oh people, keep your duty to your Lord and dread the day when no father can avail his son in aught, nor the child will avail his father. The time is coming, my son. People in Guyana and around the world, you politicians who are hungry for power and doing all kinds of deceit, Your son will not be able to help you, nor will you be able to help your son. Surely the promise of Allah is true. This is his promise. So let not this world's life deceive you, O oh, dishonest, evil, and wicked politicians who want to steal a nation and steal a country. You will have to answer in this world and hereafter. Don't forget you're getting old. Look at your age. How much longer shall you live? You have to face your God. And all that you're trying to steal and manipulate, you can't take it with you. So let not this world life deceive you. Now let the arch deceiver deceive you about Allah. My son, the more you do evil, people of the world and politicians, the more you get yourself involved in conspiracies, the shaitan, the evil, the devil, the satan, will take your heart and make you his slave, and then he will abandon you. Now let the arch deceiver deceive you about Allah, Allah, the goodness, the righteousness, the one for bounties and, and love and harmony. Surely Allah is he with whom is the knowledge of the hour and he knows what is in the wounds. And uh, no one knows what he will earn on the morrow. And no one knows in which land he will die. Surely Allah is knowing away. My son, he knows what is in the womb. He knows what is in here. Mankind never knew, only by machine. Now, they, they say they know and sometimes they make mistakes. And one know, no one knows what he will earn tomorrow. So why all this deceit and this dishonesty? You don't know if you could get a heart attack tonight or tomorrow morning. You don't know what disease might strike you and because you're doing evil, what might strike your family so you, you will suffer to witness your family suffering because you have given them evil and dishonest things to eat and to live by. And no one knows in what land he will die. Did Forbes Burnham know that he will die in Guyana and that his body will never be returned when going to be embalmed? That his body will never be returned to Guyana? Did Chetty Jagan our founder leader ever know that he will die in the United States of America and that he will be buried in his homeland? And no one knows in what land he will die. Surely Allah is knowing aware. My beloved divine son. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasnat wa fil akhirat hasnat wa kina zabana. I will now take the Imam's few seconds of rest and return almost immediately. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kulhu Allah wa had Allah samad la bilid wa la bilad wa la mi kulhu kufu wa na had. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kulhu Allah wa had Allah samad. لم يلد ولم يلد ولم يكن له كفوا ناهد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يلد ولم يكن له كفوا ناهد say there is only one God the absolute the eternal he begets not nor is he begotten and there is none like unto him Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. 
اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما بركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا السيرات المستقيم سيرات الذين أنمت عليهم قد المقدوب إليهم ولا دولين آمين يا رب العالمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لا إله إلا هو له الكيوم لا تكزه سنته ولا نو له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلى بإذنه يعله ما بين أيديهم وما كلفهم ولا يهيتون بشعين من علمه إلا بما شاء وصيا كرسيا يه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤده حفظهما وهو الألي الأزويم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والله Bless my beloved Prophet the descendants, the martyrs, all those close with him, Almighty Allah, the saints, the sages, the martyrs of Islam, Muslim men, women and children around the world. Bless humanity, Almighty Allah, our relatives and ancestors under the grave. Bless our leaders in politics, Almighty Allah, give him sense of wisdom to work for a one Guyana. Bless our country, bless my country, my Lord, bless my children, Almighty Allah, bless my family, bless my staff. Bless all those who work with me to make these things possible for a beautiful kutpa sermon and a beautiful propagation of a new form of propagation in Islam for inspiration and humanity. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rabbi Jalni Mukim Musalat wa min zuriyate. Rabbana wa takabal dua. Rabbana firli wali wali daya. وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَوْمَ يَكْمُ الْحِسَابِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله Bless the nation, Lord. Bless the world. Bless our leaders. Bless our police commissioner and all those who work for righteousness. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر الخالق البار